let's go straight into the questions regarding the preparation. What did the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam do in order to welcome Ramadan? What was his preparation for Ramadan? There's a hadith which is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, book of fasting, hadith number one nine six nine. The wife of the Prophet, Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. She says that the Prophet, he never fasted any month completely except the month of Ramadan, and in no month did he fast as many days as he fasted in the month of Shaban. So from this hadith we come to know that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in order to welcome the month of Ramadan, he is to start, he is to prepare himself and fast more in the previous month that is the month of Shaban. That was his way how he is to prepare for the month of Ramadan. And further, if you read the Sahih Hadith in Tirmidhi, chapter number fifty, Hadith number three four five one, which says that Talha, may Allah be pleased with him, he said on the authority of his father, that his father, that is his grandfather, he said, whenever the Prophet saw the new moon, he used to always pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and say, O oh Allah, bless us in this month, and he used to mention the name of that month, and then say. That please keep us steadfast in faith in this month. This was the way the Prophet always used to pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala whenever he saw a new moon. It wasn't specifically only for the new moon of the month of Ramadan, but it was for all new moons whenever he used to see. And his special way of welcoming the month of Ramadan was that he used to mention about the coming of this blessed month to the people. And it's mentioned in Musnad Ahmad. Ram number two, page number two hundred thirty, Hadith number seven one four eight, where Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to tell the people that, "O oh people, this blessed month is approaching you, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has ordained for you that you fast in this month, and the gates of heaven will be open in this month, and the gates of hell will be closed, and the devils will be chained." And in this month, there is a night, which is better than a thousand months. And if anyone is deprived of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's blessing in this month, he is truly a deprived person. So here we come to know that this is how Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to welcome this month, and he used to tell the good news of the blessed month to come to all the people. Masha Allah. The next question to you is. What should we do when Ramadan approaches? The first thing we should do is we should thank Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for making us witness this blessed month of Ramadan once again, and we have to thank Him for His mercy, and we have to ask forgiveness in this month so that all our previous sins will be forgiven, and we have to thank Him for all the ni'mat He has given us. All the blessings, all the love. This is the best month. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 185. It says, "Sharu Ramzan al-Lazi unzila fi al-Quran, hudal al-Nas, wa bayi natim min al-Huda wal-Furqan." Which means that Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed as a guidance for mankind. And signs for guidance and judgment between right and wrong. And Allah further says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number one hundred eighty-three, Allah says, "Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu, O you who believe, kutiba alaykum siyam, kama kutiba ala lazina min kablikum, la lakum tatkun." O you who believe, fasting was prescribed to you. As it was prescribed to people who came before you, so that you may learn self-restraint. The word used here is tatkun, similar to taqwa, so that you learn God consciousness, so that you learn piety, so that you learn righteousness. So this is the month in which a person can become more righteous. This is the time when our taqwa can be the highest, and this is a month. It is. An annual training; it is a sort of an overhauling of the body. How we have that every machinery requires 
some sort of servicing, maybe every three months, maybe every year. And if you allow me to call the human beings as the best machinery in the world, doesn't it require a servicing or overhauling? So Ramadan is an annual overhauling of the human body. It is a spiritual and moral training for the human being. And it is a purification of the body, mind and soul. This is the month where we can increase our taqwa. We can increase our patience and we can derive the benefits and the guidance from the Quran. Subhanallah. Jazakallah khair.